morning you guys um today is monday april 1st and i decided to switch it up a little bit i'm sorry i look like this i just woke up first of all um secondly i decided to switch it up a little bit and do daily doses instead of weekly doses of pharmacy just because i am pregnant now and i have like a little bit less energy so um i'll just sprinkle some daily vlogs in there rather than a full week I just don't know if I can commit to a full week. I mean, I've tried these past two weeks. That's why nothing has went up because I, I just couldn't consistently vlog day after day after day. So I decided that I feel like it's fair to do daily doses and give you just like a little dose of my pharmacy world. So I'm very excited today because um, so Saturday I got initiated into Phi Delta Chi which is a pharmacy fraternity and i look at my little paddle it's so cute that i got from my big and we get to wear our shirts today so everyone is wearing this shirt today and do you guys want to see my nickname that my big picked out which i'm so excited about it is my youtube channel name so thank you so much elizabeth for everything I really, really like it. So I'm excited. And yeah, so I just want to get this thing started so I can put my shirt on. And I really like matching with people. So I feel like that's cool too because we're all going to be wearing the same thing. So yeah. So first, I'm going to um, cook. It's about 10 o'clock right now. My alarm just went off to wake up. So I think we have one egg left. Oh, oh, bless. I have the best boyfriend in the world. He bought that for me yesterday and I didn't drink it. But, um, so yeah, we have one egg left. So I think I'm just gonna fry an egg real quick. And then I was thinking about stopping by Taco Bell because I want to get to school early because um, this is like an exam week. So my exam would be on Monday. So I need to start studying and getting ahead. So I need to study everything from last week so i think i'm gonna get to school early i'm craving taco bell so i'm gonna probably get taco bell but not eat it until lunchtime and heat it up in the microwave and it should be good so let's make some breakfast real quick <laughs> Okay, so I just did my makeup and my hair. Hair is looking luminous, even though I need to wash it. I just been putting a heck load of dry shampoo in it. But, um, so now I just need to get ready. So I'm going to change in five, four, three, two. Yay, I have it on. Let's see if you can see the bump. Oh, barely. But he's there. He's in there. I am so excited to wear this, you guys. And then the back. And if you're wondering, 107 is my brother number. I'm number 107. Okay, so I just have to put on some pants and some shoes and get the heck out of here. So I am back from class, not feeling so great. Um, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get situated on this pregnancy pillow, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling so great. This boy is like in an uncomfortable position and it's just, I don't know, my back hurts, my stomach hurts, everything hurts. So I think I'm gonna try and lay down but I just feel like I can't lay down for that long because I have stuff to do. I have assignments that are due tonight and I need to study. Like I said, this is a test week. So if I fall asleep, I can only take a small nap. But like, let me see if you're able to tell. But um, it just he's just uncomfortable down there. And he's really low right now. So this is him down here. Like my uterus... I feel like stops like right here and this is just um, either bloatedness or I don't know 
But right now he's kicking on this side. Um, and his head is over here. And he just keeps spinning around and doing his own thing. So I'm going to try and lay down. Hopefully he calms down with me doing that. And then we'll get some studying in, hopefully. Okay, so it is 9.08. I am up and ready to learn, I guess. <laughs> I have to do um, this work before it is due at midnight. So basically what we're doing is we have a case um, and the patient like tells you what they're complaining of or whatever. These are like the medications that um, they tell you about. And then, like, here's another list of medications that, like, they're actually taking. Because, you know, sometimes patients don't really know what they're taking. And so, I'm just transferring it over to this, um, like, fill-in-the-blank PDF thing so that I can turn this in. So, the patient was complaining of frequent urination, which could be because of her, um, diabetes. Like, that could just be, like, a sign of... Um, hyperglycemia and like that the medication isn't working it could also be because she's taking her water pill at night so of course it's making her have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night um, and then I also I put that at medium risk uh, or medium priority and then I said to do a higher dose of blood pressure medication because when she came in her blood pressure was 152 over 92 which is high so and I put that as high priority uh, I said to change her diabetes medications to metformin she is currently on glipizide and metformin is um, always the first choice drug of choice for diabetes and then you would add another therapy to it if that's not working so I put that at high because um, obviously she's experiencing signs of hyperglycemia. So that means that the glipizide wasn't working for her. Um, I said to discontinue the ibuprofen because she's also taking St. John's work. So um, we don't want her to have like any drug drug interactions. So I said to switch to Tylenol if needed. I put that as medium. Um, and then I said to change simvastatin to atorvastatin because her triglycerides and LDLs were really high. Hold on, let me see if I'll focus. So yeah, um, this is her cholesterol readings and they're really high. So we want to, since she has diabetes, um, we want to put her on a high intensity statin because the diabetes puts her at risk. So um yeah, and I put that as high priority also. So, yeah. And then the next step would be to um, fill out this sheet and basically the action plan. So, more in detail, what am I going to do with the patient and her medications? Okay, let's try that again because I wasn't even recording. <laughs> but, um, so I was saying before I ended this vlog, I wanted to... Um, go over what we learned today in class since I can't really record in class so today in class we had two hours of um, pharmacokinetics and two hours of cardio so for PK we did vancomycin dosing so the first hour was just like the basics of vancomycin like what it is what does it attack so like gram positive um, bacteria and then like the PK parameters, the adverse effects, um, mechanism action, the type of um, compartment model that it is, and things like that. And then the, um, let me delete this. Okay, the second hour we actually did the, um, the dosing for it so like the first part would be like population parameters and then the second part of the dosing would be um like patient specific parameters and so yeah a lot of math so that was the first two hours and then the last two hours um we did where is it so we did um venous thromboembolism and we talked about basically the medication so we talked about warfarin and um the different clotting factors that it affects and everything that you need to know about warfarin then we talked about um 
the other medications that you can use that are more selective to what it's trying to inhibit. So um, that's why they're called direct oral anticoagulants or the DOACs. So we have Pradaxa, Xarelto, Eliquis, and Cervasa. And then we just talked about everything with that and like side effects and I'll show special pops. But yeah, that's all we really did today. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you're okay with daily doses rather than weekly doses, like I said. Um, I don't really know how many I'll do within a week and I don't wanna like make a promise to it because I'm really bad with my commitments, but I will try to do more daily doses of pharmacy. But I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Look, I'm different, man. I really get to click and